Get up. Go around the chair. taking over FBB TV. We're here with Matthew, Marshad and myself, Hashim. Ah, right, today we're at the Copper 90 studio. Right now, right here, we're going to film everything, everything for you. Coming up on today's show, this, this, and even more. In this part of the show, we're going to be talking about the blindfolded penalties we had on Friday. We all thought it was going to be easy, but no, just watch this. <laughs> Boys, we're not as excited as they are. <laughs> in a goal. All he done is side fitting and go. But then Pez, he does something that not many people can do, a Robona. He acts like he's won the World Cup, it's good, but everyone like jumps on him. If only Amara was blindfolded in the goal. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Which goal was better? Mr Bateman's outstanding finish or Pez's Robona? Hey, Masha, do you know who, do you know who Rachel Yankee is? No. Oh wait, does she play for Arsenal? That's right. She was she also plays for England with 129 caps. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jose. I'm the FBB women's football coach, and today I'm excited because I'm going to be interviewing Rachel Yankee. Hello, Rachel. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell me a bit about how you became a footballer, please? Um, first started playing football just at school and, and with my brother, older brother, mm -hmm. just down the park and then I, I joined the boys team and then from there joined the, joined the girls team and oh, yeah. escalated from there. Did you face any challenges when you were younger being a female footballer? When I first started obviously there weren't many other uh, girls playing football so I think I was probably the only one so I kind of thought I was the odd one out. Um, so joining joining a team for me, it was easier just to go along with the boys and, and join a boys team and just sort of mix in there. When I was told that boys and girls aren't really meant to play football together, so I was asked to, to, to leave the team. But yeah, once that happened, I had a good manager who found me a girls team and yeah, I fitted in there, so it was quite cool. If you were to change anything in football, what would it be? top level of women's football needs to be fully professional so every player training every day uh, working in the same sort of um, same sort of way as, as the male players do so I think that would really improve uh, women's football at this moment in time. What is your proudest moment in football? Proudest probably is the 2007 season with Arsenal. We won the quadruple, so we won the, the League Cup, the FA Cup, the League and the Champions League. So can't really top that. We've not been able to do it again. <laughs> wow. Who's your favourite player? Like, who would you relate yourself to this day and where that was, you know, that influenced you the most? 
Um, my favourite player growing up was Ian Wright as an Arsenal fan. I just loved the way Ian Wright played. It was just always so fun, just looked like he enjoyed himself. He's I probably play the most like. Um, a lot of people have compared me to, to Ryan Giggs, which, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. <laughs> that was an amazing interview with Rachel Yankee. We wish her all the best for 2015. What a legend. Apart from being a player, what other job would you love to do involving football? For me, it wouldn't be a commentator, because that's too hyped up. It would probably be a manager. Mershad, what would you think? Well, at the moment, I'm loving what I'm doing today. Like, I want to do more stuff like this in the future. My actual dream job is to be a pundit for football. All you have to do is dream. Just dream that you'll be what you want to be when you're older and it might happen. Yeah, well, like, I'm 13 years old and I know it is going to happen. Well, guess what, Matthew? One of the biggest pundits in the world, Guillaume Balaguer, is getting interviewed by a fellow all-star, Rashad. Hello, my name is Rashad. Um, here I am is Guillaume um, on FBB TV. OK, how are you? I'm all right. You too? Yeah. Um, OK, let's start. First question. Did you want to become a footballer? Who doesn't want to become a footballer? But very, very early on, I realised I was a goalkeeper. I, was, I, I wasn't a very good goalkeeper. So I had to do something that got me close to that world, because it's a fascinating world, and uh, became a journalist, writer, commentator. Pundit. Pundit. Okay. Which is, yeah, so. all that put together. Who's like... Your best friend in football, like he has the best personality. My best friend. Um, I'm very close to Mendieta, the player who played for Barcelona and Lazio and Middlesbrough. I'm very close to Rafa Benitez, very good friends with Ranieri, with Avram Grant, Lampard, Arteta is a, is a good guy. Xavi Alonso, was, I was with Xavi Alonso yesterday. Pep Guardiola was with him two days ago. After well, 22 years in the profession, you get to know a lot of people who along the way have helped me a lot as well. Um, do you get like nerves when you're like, interviewing or commentating or something? Do you? That you might get something wrong. Do you? Do you get nervous? If it was live, then yeah, but it's, you can cut stuff up. Yeah, yeah, suppose so. Um, my trick, mental trick, is to think that nobody's watching. Should I ask something? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? Either a lawyer or like a football pundit, like you. What is a football pundit? Like when like they go to matches, studios, and they commentate and they talk about the match like before the match and after. What would you say to like budding young children who want to be, become pundits like myself? I'll say two things. One, forget about being a pundit. Being a pundit is only the top of the iceberg. Only the very best want to be pundits. And it's good that you have a dream, but prepare yourself. That is the most important thing. Prepare yourself to be a pundit or whatever else you want to be in life. And to prepare yourself to be at the top, you have to work really hard, you have to be disciplined, you have to read a lot, you have to ask a lot of questions, you have to travel, you have to be not just a commentator, you have to be much more, you have to be, you have to be, have a, a big mind uh, open to the world and absorb as much as you can from it. To then, if you get given the opportunity, because it's not about you wanting to be a pundit, somebody has to give you that chance, then you can show that, uh, you know, do you know just somebody that talks about football? You are somebody that knows a lot. Join me now where I will be drawing the raffle for the signed shirt by Lionel Messi himself, given to us kindly by Guillaume Balaguer. Thank you. My pleasure. So we're going to do the draw now, Rashad. Yeah. Close your eyes. And with your right hand, have a real dig in there. Who's going to win it? Please be me. Steve White. Steve White! <laughs> Steve White has won the shirt. Who's Steve White? Do we know? Does anyone yet. know Steve White? Steve White, you have just won a signed Lionel Messi shirt. 
There you go, there's the name. Rashad, any message for Steve White? Well done. I'm keep donating. Yes! Now, big shout out to Rashad, that brilliant interview with Guillaume Balaguer. Masha, don't you think FBB have some mad ballers with mad skills? Here's a very special skill by our very own FBB coach, Jack Badu. It's called the Tango. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jack Badu. I'm here with Football Beyond Borders, and today I'm going to teach you the Tango football skill. So, Tango uh, originated in Argentina, um, and the beginning of tango started with men dancing with men. Uh, similar to football, you usually play with your mates and we're going to have a quick go uh, doing a tango football skill, so have a look. In tango, usually you're holding each other like this, okay? But we're going to use the ball, okay, as our embrace. As I move backwards, Micah is going to take the ball on either foot, receive it and flick it back round to me, and then I will do the same. You ready, Micah? Okay, so right foot first. Micah is light on his feet, okay? He's constantly moving, he's got his balance there, and I'm giving him the ball and feeding it to him, okay? Now we're gonna do that whilst moving. Now, if you can imagine, I am an opponent of Micah, and he's gonna try and get around me, okay? So as the ball comes to Micah, he's gonna receive it, flick it around me, and beat me, okay? You ready? And that is the Tango football trick. Subscribe now to see more of these fantastic, amazing videos. We had a fantastic day at Copa 19 Studio. Hope if you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe from All Stars, FBB TV. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Live with well. Chelsea's the, Chelsea's the best, Chelsea's the best, no, Chelsea's the best. New, you lost against but Newcastle. But we're first, but we're you first. Lost You're six. Yeah, I don't care. Don't even know where you me. are. You, got, you, you lost against Newcastle, we beat them 4 1. No, 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 no. We're with Giroud, the worst. We're player, first. Like we're Giroud. first. You look we're could first. talk about now, but if you talk about past, Liverpool's best. Liverpool's we won the dead. Champions League second time. You got beaten by Man United, and we're going to be. It don't matter.